Hi, this is Gary Gray from Our World Visual Dreams coming to you again talk about a little tra travel tip. I'm going to talk about credit cards. Uh, credit cards are very wisely used throughout the world to travel. And a lot of people at times get a little frivolous and just charge and they just pay the interest and vice versa. I mean, they just not, not too many people use cash anymore. There are still people out there. They, but you can if you utilize credit cards the right way, you can travel quite a bit. I want to talk a little bit about air miles through credit cards, and I'm going to talk about how to utilize credit cards that you can transfer for free, and you get a certain period to pay them off. You just figure out your balance, and then you just pay that payment every month until like you got 50 months to go. So basically, I'm going to talk a little bit about air miles. We use a Alaskan Airlines credit card. Not gonna, you know, you just look it up and you can find out which kind of the bank that they use. There's several, several. Every airline has a credit card that you like Delta, Alaskan, United. They all have a credit card service through a credit card company, and also there's companies that you can use points either towards hotels or you can use it towards air miles. So we've been using Alaskan Airlines for years because that's usually our main destination every year if possible or every other year because we travel to Alaska to see our kids so basically what you do is you can buy uh, products and you know as long as you pay off the balance you can you won't pay any interest as long as you do it in the billing period before the next statement comes out so like uh, you also you Pay utility bills on the credit card. You just figure out what you. But not all utilities will do it. Like house payments, stuff like that. Depends on I guess the servicing company. But basically, you can't charge it. I charge my car insurance, and then I pay it off. I know I have the money. I save the money for it, so I pay it off. So basically, you can utilize cards. You can use it for restaurants. You can use them for gas. A lot of gas companies have them. Uh, what I like to do is, you know, you get, you find a gas station like Shell or anything, you get, all of them have discount cards, get 10 cents off, like Myers. Myers has a discount card, 10 cents off. But, you know, basically what also I do is when I get, if I don't, I get in trouble and I don't pay, or I buy a big item, I usually know of companies will transfer your account from account to account without having a charge. So you can get a transfer, well, I'm gonna have transfer fees up to six, 10%, and if it's a big chunk of money, it's, it's gonna cost you a lot. So basically, I found, I, what I do is just transfer them over to a bank or credit card that will offer a free transfer, and then I'll I transfer all my account, because I also have a hotel credit card, which gives me points, and you know, free night stays, and some of these credit cards have annual fees and some don't. Usually your air mile type of credit cards will have an annual fee. But also you can, like my credit card, I can buy air miles. These you have press or promotional periods where you can buy credit air miles through your credit card and then if you don't have enough in your balance, then you can just use, you know, the balance and then they'll give you 40% more miles if you pay this fee and they'll give you a chart tell you how many miles and bonus above that you know and basically it works out pretty good we've actually traveled quite a bit on air miles and, and basically you can get more air miles on the miles you actually travel so that's a good idea to just take and make sure when you get back from your trips that you have your account set up and then you can go and uh Basically, I lost my thought a little bit. But basically, yeah, you can keep at building your air miles, but you know, have a separate account for each individual in your family. Like it's just my wife and I now, so it's a little bit easier. But I had accounts at one time set for all the kids and air miles, but they don't travel like we do. But eventually, I'll give them their accounts and they can keep on trucking. A lot of times, they'll lock your accounts and then you have to pay a fee to unlock accounts. But also, like through my credit card. Alaskan Airlines, like I said, I travel, but the biggest thing is sometimes certain regions you can't travel. They don't have the partnership anymore like they used to, but you can travel at any airport and use air miles on any airlines, but it doesn't like the 
anymore. So I used to go out of Grand Rapids where it was cheaper, but a lot of my flights out of Detroit. So basically, you know, your air miles are a great thing because I've actually done whole trips with air miles. I've done partial trips and, but like I said, that's, that's another topic to talk about. But also, you can, like through my Alaskan Airline credit card, I also can buy, and I get this annually, if I buy one full fare, I get a, part, a, a hundred, only cost me, I call it a companion airfare, I get, it only cost me $125 for the second ticket. So that saves you money too. But also, like I said, you know, you can utilize credit cards quite a bit, but like I said, you got to watch it. And, and people don't understand what credit cards too, because they're compounding interest. And also you, you got your interest rate, they tell you on the card, but then you got your AP, ARP rate, which is added to that too. So it could be 14% plus whatever is, you know, today, eight, nine percent more. So they don't really tell you that unless you read the fine print. But I've always told my, I tell everybody that if you pay, if you wait to the payday to pay your credit card off, you will pay compounding interest for 30 to 31 days, depending on what that cycle is. So if you pay earlier in your cycle, your billing period, you will actually save money on interest because you're going to pay that interest. Like if you pay five days in the cycle, you're only going to pay five, you know, you're going to pay interest on five, you know, five days. And then, <laughs> this is the way it's going to be till I get used to this. But, you know, yeah, you'll pay, it's on your total balance of that time. But, yes, you'll, you'll only pay 5% of that, I mean, of that balance. But, for the most part, there's a lot of things to look at when you do credit cards. I mean, you don't want to get, you know, tap 20 credit cards, but you can only, you only really need three, maybe, maybe two credit cards. Usually I have one for hotels, I have one for gas, and I have one for travel. And then I have a backup. And then you have your own personal one through your bank, maybe. But, you know, everybody's got credit cards for everything in the world. Every Sears, Macy's, you know, but that's up, that's on you. But I'm just trying to tell you how it's easier to travel that way. So, And if there's any other things that you can add to this, just comment below in the comment box below. And please consider subscribing. And I hope you had a nice day. And this is, like I said, this is a travel tip. I'll have more travel tips going on in on hotels, traveling through certain cities, and so on. But I hope you enjoyed. You know, hope this helped you out a little bit. Like I said, I'll have, I might even come back again later on down the road with another travel tip on credit cards. And you know, like I said, comment below.